So this video is to help you divide polynomials, and we're going to work through number 13. So number 13, 10x squared minus 33x minus 9 divided by 2x minus 7. So I draw my box. I put my 2x minus 7. And I put my 10x squared in that top left box. That happens every single time. That first term goes in that first box. Then I ask myself, 2x times what gives me 10x squared? 2x times what is 10x squared? And the answer to that is 5x. So that goes on the outside of the box. Then I multiply 5x times negative 7, and I get negative 35x. Okay, so I put the 10x squared there because I have to. That's my first step. And then I figured out the 5x, and I figured out the negative 35x. Now, I'm going to draw another column. Now, the negative 35x and this diagonal box that I'm highlighting has to add up to negative 33x. So if I have negative 35x, how do I get to negative 33x? I have to add 2x. Because negative 33x plus 2x has to add up to this negative 33x that I'm highlighting up there. Those things are like terms. They have to all add up together. So then I have to ask myself, 2x times what is 2x? So 2x times what is 2x? And the answer to that is 1. So I put 1 up above. Then I multiply that 1. 1 times negative 7 is negative 7. Now I put a constant up there. That means this last column is for my remainder. This negative 7 and whatever's in this diagonal have to add up to this negative 9 up here because they're like terms. So if I'm at negative 7, how do I get to negative 9? If I'm at negative 7, how do I get to negative 9? I have to subtract 2. So that negative 7 and negative 2 makes that negative 9. So I'm done and I can write my answer. 5x plus 1. And you can either write plus negative 2 over 2x minus 7, or you can write 5x plus 1 minus 2 all over 2x minus 7. So either way, either plus and the negative up on the top or just one big minus sign. Either way, whichever you prefer, whichever way you see it better. So if you're stuck on those steps, rewatch the video, listen to the video while you do 14 and 15.